The workers say the airline should be given an exclusive mandate to conduct commercial business free from political interference, supported by the correct board of directors and industry experts. They believe for the airline to own six aircraft, they are capable to contribute to the growth of the airline and explore available networks and potential markets. We have everything in place. It just needs to be molded to perfection. The indirect, positive, financial and economic impact the airline has, such as direct, indirect job creation, the tourism industry, business investment and many more sectors, cannot be sustained by the other so-called private airline in this country as much as Air Namibia has been doing. The joint committee is holding the government, which is the main shareholder, accountable for the role and influence in the failure of the national airline. Unfortunately, it has to be said to that the government, as the main shareholder, has been instrumental in the airline's failure. It is clear from the Challenge Air case that the government does not have the appetite nor the political will to rescue the airline from, the, from his impasse. They also believe that the seven billion that is said to be needed to save the airline is exaggerated. The employee representatives at Air Namibia wants an audience with the cabinet committee on treasury on an urgent basis. We'll seek every avenue, whether it's discussing with the president, minister, treasury, or the person of management directly, we will do so. If it is that the unions as a collective has to approach the court and ask the court, can legally you hold these people accountable for mismanagement? We will do that. But for now, for now, we are asking for the government to come to the, uh, to the table, tell the nation, tell us as employees, what is the plan of Air Namibia? An application was filed last year by Challenge A to liquidate Air Namibia and after numerous deliberations, Air Namibia continued engaging the shareholder about the need to find an acceptable payment plan to avert liquidation. The airline's board of directors recently say liquidating Air Namibia will lead to a loss of more than 600 jobs whereas the restart plan will preserve at least 50% of those jobs while enabling the airline to add value to the domestic economy. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.